What's going on, my boys? It's YT Dan back at it again with another video. Now, if you've been watching my content recently, you know I've been ramping up in the content spectrum. I've been changing up a lot of my content and I've been adding new offerings because I need your support and help on this channel. So please hit the like button and subscribe and let's get right into it. So recently I made a video where I did a live reaction to the mask uh, duelist, um, which was revealed. Check it out, my boy, for my complete reaction. But I do want to bring a couple things to your attention because that's what the point of this little segment is for. The number one thing I want to talk about is the August 31st ban list and the absolute disgust of everyone for Konami waiting to the very last minute to drop this list. Now, I'm a part of the group of people who absolutely hates making content about the same redundant thing over and over and over again. So what's on the ban list isn't necessarily the problem I have or what Konami will ban in the future is not the problem I have. I have a problem with Konami dropping the ball on their mass duelist event. That's right. I think that they absolutely failed in this event and I feel like they could have done things so much better. And I'm only gonna go with what I saw. I'm not gonna talk about any of the other stuff Siri X or anybody else did because whatever they did is whatever they did. All I know as a content consumer, as someone who is a Yu-Gi-Oh enjoyer, you know, all I know is what I saw when I sat down to live stream. I literally sat down to make content, turn my computer on, and that stream just so happens to be going. It just so happens that my YouTube was still playing and it auto played that video. And when I came downstairs, sat down to make content, the timer was running and it said, this is starting in like 60 seconds. So I hopped right on and did a reaction. But me hopping on doing a reaction, I had zero expectation. I had zero wants, I had zero, things that I needed from watching this video. So I would say definitely when it comes to a viewer or it comes to someone who's consuming this content, I would say my expectations were super low. I wasn't looking for anything from this, but I came somehow, I came out disappointed, even though I wanted nothing. And that's not a feeling that you want to give to anyone that's trying to be, you know, you want them to be a supporter. You want them to financially buy things like you don't want to leave them with a sour taste of disappointment when they absolutely didn't want anything from you. So if that's the case, how could you, uh, how could Konami, I almost said Yugi, how could Konami improve on this idea? Okay, the first thing I will want to do, I will want to rewind this thing all the way back, take it all the way back to the beginning of August where they claimed that this ban list was coming out. They already know that there's been so much tyranny in the meta, Master Duel's going insane with the uh, Snake Eye Fire King stuff, and then also you got you Bell and everything else that's coming out, and then you got people scared and afraid of the new uh, uh, fiend, fiend engine that's coming out. Uh, it's just slipped my mind the name of that engine. But basically, you have all all this stuff coming out in Konami everyone's looking to Konami to see this ban list they want to know what they're gonna do and then also anything that they do in a TCG is almost like foreshadowing for Master Duel so you really want to know like is something gonna come and shake up the game and affect what I'm playing I know that that is that is the overall underlying feeling of what's going on which probably is the reason for all of these horse memes that have been popping up and really funny i have no idea how this meme originated but i <laughs> but i saw cucumber horse and i was like something something's missed here something something's going on and i started to look at all these different horse memes and it's pretty damn funny but at the end of the day people are absolutely disgusted that konami waited until basically two days before the month is over to tell them that the last day of the month the ban list will be released now this is why i'm saying konami failed because if they started off this campaign in the beginning and there was plenty of live streams and plenty of duels and plenty of things going on they could have had the guy in the mask or they could have had the mask duelist doing all kinds of shenanigans, causing trouble, just being a literal fiend. Because if you're going to build something up where this guy's going to be a mask duelist and some duelist is going to get a chance to compete for the mask, the mask must mean something. The mask must stand for something. Right now, the mask doesn't stand for anything. It stands for disappointment. So if the mask stands for disappointment, why is it a prize? 
in a time where people are talking about shitty prizes from Konami. So in so under that whole premise, we're gonna just reimagine this. What if the mass duelist caused problems? What if in like in this stream as demonstrated, the mass duelist powers can interfere with the broadcast directly? You know, maybe he has some pre-scripted lines. Maybe there was someone on a mic can, can speak for the mass duelist and the mass duelist can just be a mime. Maybe we can do some more coordination like that to make things more succinct, to make things more epic. Because the whole thing was it kind of came off a little lame. Not even gonna lie, it came off lame. And I'm and you know, and this comes from a guy who made a live action Yu-Gi-Oh! This comes from a guy who gets on his streams and and you know overreacts on some occasions to some effects but when i saw the stream i kind of cringed when i saw that stream i kind of cringed and i saw a lot of other people in the comments cringing as well or questioning what even is happening and now let's talk about just going forward how this shadow duelist could have been even even greater because in this actual live stream the shadow duelist watches Two people try to set up a duel, try to set it up because there was a lot of issues. They kept getting disconnected. Somebody need to turn off their microwave. You know, the mass duelist might have had his hot pocket going or something. So basically no one could get connected. But then when the dude finally gets connected, he's blown out immediately by Snake Eye. Wouldn't it have been amazing if the mass duelist at the end of that video at the end of that demonstration was so disgusted about the power of snake eye he goes and pulls a set kaiba moment and says his dark powers are beyond our understanding and therefore judgment must be passed he he his his judgment must be appeased as he said so he reaches in the back and he pulls out a copy of snake eye ash and rips it in half and says never to be used against me from henceforth snake eye ash it's banned and then the list goes out immediately you would have got so much hype now you're getting dragged you would have got so much speed now you can slow down and when this list comes out people are just gonna roast you for it no matter what's on the list you could put five dollars on the list everybody gets five dollars when they sit down to play Yu-Gi-Oh. people are gonna roast you for it still because you did this stuff waiting on the end of the month and you know transparency aside about telling us where the, when the list is going to come telling us that the list is going to come at the end of the month and then having this really weak event this really weak thing happen it's just just wasn't flying and and to be very fair you know Yu-Gi-Oh is not a kid's game Yu-Gi-Oh is a grown-ass person's game because everyone who started playing Yu-Gi-Oh started playing 25 years ago 25 years ago if you think about that that's two kids growing up turning 15 twice. That, like basically, I said not two, not 15 twice. I thought about 30, but I think 30 is kind of closer to Yu-Gi-Oh's actual age, but 25 years according to the actual stamp or whatever, but they've been out here for a minute, 25 years. So basically 12.5. But again, those are two preteens put together. That That's the adolescent audience that does not exist. What exists is your professionals, your folks like myself, your streamers, your content creators, your your innovators, you know, adults who play this game. So if you're gonna go with the mass duelist concept, if you're gonna go down the road of of doing something new, don't make it cringe. <laughs> like don't make it cringe. Don't make it like whack because at the end of the day although that that person under the mask was like a, a charting artist and all that great stuff don't get me wrong super accomplished person have no knocks against him but what it was the point like he could have just been a commentator for all of what he did like what was the point like what's the point of the mask what was the point of the aura what was the point of the circumstance so that's it my boy so 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 that's all i'm just saying about it i'm saying that at the end of the day konami could have did a much better job utilizing the mass duelist and the whole idea of a duelist that exists outside the game that has an effect on the game as a means to deliver our ban list in a shocking bombastic way 
but they dropped the ball. So let me know what you think, my boy. That's it. And this is your boy, Whitey Dan, getting out of here for Thank You News.